Hi, I'm Adam from DoJoNoDrama.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to use some of the new features on the new QuickTime X that comes with the Snow Leopard upgrade for Mac OS X. Um, the first one I want to show you is the screen capture facility, which I think is a fantastic thing to have put in QuickTime. It's going to open up QuickTime. Um, first thing that happens with QuickTime is very little. So you have to go up to the bar up here and you have to file new screen recording. And you get this little box which will have all of the things that you need to know to record your screen. You do the drop down arrow and you can select your microphone. And you have the quality and where you'd like to save it. It's not highly detailed but it's good enough for just simple screen recordings. The little volume indicator here is your microphone volume and it's the volume at which it plays back while you are recording. I'd suggest keeping this at zero unless you're using headphones because you'll get some crazy feedback and it might hurt your ears quite a lot. When you're ready to record something you just click the red record button and a dialog box will appear telling you where the stop button is. You can click show me to show you where the stop button is just in case you need to find that later and you just click start recording to record. When you've started recording, you can just whiz around doing whatever it is that you wanted to do, opening some dialogue boxes, looking for something interesting to show the people that are watching the video, some pictures, and yeah. And then when you're done, you just click stop recording. And when you start recording, your capture will open up in a QuickTime movie window. You can play that back. When you've started recording, you can just whiz around doing whatever it is that you wanted to do, opening some dialog boxes, looking for something interesting to show the people. Um, the some of the new features, features another features. the features with the new QuickTime X yeah. is the trim tool, which will allow you to trim down your done, video to just to start trim the ends off to make it, if you've got a long intro where you've waited to record or something similar. To do that, you click edit and you go down to trim and you'll get this little bar at the bottom similar to a sort of iMovie frames um, graphic and you can just select the beginning and drag it along it plays the movie along with it you can select a beginning and then you can select an end and you click trim and you just click play and it will play your new trim video whatever it is that you want to do opening some dialogue boxes, looking for some... I've been Adam from DoJoNoDrama.com and I've just shown you how to use the free screen capture tool that comes with a new QuickTime X player.